Hey, this is Sarah from Precision Camera in Austin, Texas. Today I have a really exciting brand new world premiere product to show you. This is the world's fastest monolite, the Profoto P2. The D2 is all about speed. It can shoot up to 20 frames per second. The D2 can sync with shutter speeds up to 1 8,000th of a second. This is compatible with the Air TTL, so Canon and Nikon users, you can use this with high speed sync, which allows you to get up to those super high shutter speeds. The best thing about the D2 being compatible with Profoto's high speed sync technology is that this guy can be as automatic or as manual as you want it to be. The D2 comes in a 500 watt and a 1000 watt configuration. Now the D1 isn't going anywhere, but the D2 is gonna come in at a higher tier. This is aimed at the working professional, the commercial editorial photographer. The D1 has seven stops of range. The D2 has 10. So this is where things get really crazy. The D1, the fastest flash duration at full power was 1 1800th of a second, that's 1800. The D2 can stop motion at 1 63,000th of a second. That is insanely fast. This easily takes the cake as the fastest monolite in the world. Like the D1, the D2 is compatible with the RFI speed ring and is compatible with over 120 light shaping tools. Because the D2 is aimed at the commercial photographer that's gonna really put this through the test, they have a quartz flash tube option that has four times the life of the default flash tube that it comes with. A big thing that you notice is how the units are controlled. The D1 didn't have an LCD. The D2 has a control system that's a lot more similar to the likes of the B1 and the B2. On the D2, we have a brand new menu system. Profoto's menus on the B1, the B2, and the D1 were already pretty simple and they've made it even better. So I can rotate through what I want to change by just rotating the dial. And if I want to change something, press it in, and I make my change. Quick and intuitive. There is also a sub settings menu. If I hold this down, this screen pops up, and you have a few new settings. Display orientation allows you to flip it upside down. This is great for the commercial photographer or portrait studio that is going to mount these on a rail and never take them down. So if I twist the dial and don't apply pressure, it's gonna go up in tenths of a stop. Takes a while. If I press the button in and turn, it'll go down in a full stop. way easier. All right, so enough with the specs, let's get to shooting. This is Joseph Sims, my coworker, lighting enthusiast, pro photo enthusiast, yeah. and the lovely Mackenzie Myers, our model for the day. Okay guys, so like she said, we're gonna be stressing out the D2 today. I'm using the pro photo soft light reflector. We're gonna be running this thing at power level two. So on the original D1, it actually didn't go down that far. It would actually only go down to four, so it should be cool. Go ahead and let's bring that reflector in there and let's see what kind of headshots we can get here. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Boom. All right, so now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've dropped my power level down to one. The D1 didn't actually do this at all. So I wanted to open my aperture up all the way. I'm shooting a 2.8. So now I can actually get a lot of splash on the background and I can blur you out while you're shooting me. There I love go. that one. That's a good shot. That's a really good one. That's a beautiful shot. So you ready? This is what we're going to do. We're going to start out down here. We're going to flip our hair up like that. All right, so now we're moving into the hair flip. I've got my shutter speed at 1 500th, my aperture at 5.6. I just set my trigger to TTL, took my metering shot, switched it back to manual. So here we go. Couple more. One, two, three. <laughs> Very nice. Excellent. All right, so what we're gonna do now, 
I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch it back to freeze mode because this dress is gonna look awesome in a spin. Awesome. All right, so just so you guys know, this is a pre-production model and it's the first time I've actually gotten to shoot with it. So there may be a few bugs now, but when it comes out, it's gonna be amazing. All right, one, two, three. Awesome, looks great. What'd you think? That thing's amazing. It just keeps on ticking. No matter how hard I push it, it keeps going. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming out, and thank you so much, Mackenzie, for being a part of this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and come check out the D2 in-store today.